Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we have a bunch of new information to go over for the new Pokemon Snap game coming out on April the 30th. IGN basically got to play the game for 30 minutes. They tell us about what they experienced. We get loads of new gameplay. It's a really, really cool video. We're going to be breaking it down for you guys today and also talk about all the other interesting things coming to Pokemon Snap, like voice acting, for example. So if you are excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 550 likes. Leave a comment. Are you looking forward to new Pokemon Snap? Let me know and subscribe if you're brand new. We keep you up to date with everything to do with Pokemon this year. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video and take a look at all of the new information about new Pokemon Snap. So, starting things off, here we are with the video. It's four and a half minutes long, so it's quite a chunky video. Um, but there is loads of gameplay here. There's Pokemon that we didn't know were in new Pokemon Snap. And then the uh, the narrator also goes into detail about certain things. So, let's click play, break it down, see what they have to say. My tour of new Pokemon Snap took me through its beach level twice. Okay. First during the day, and then again at night. When so, day and night cycles are in new Pokemon Snap. Something that obviously weren't in the original game. But, uh, yeah, day and night cycles are in this one. And I'm guessing different Pokemon come out at different times of the day different pokemon appear i'm not sure if the beach is the first level or not but it is in many ways a clear homage to the similar opening biome of the original game okay so obviously beach level could be the first level not too sure but uh, there's like loads of like tutorial stuff on this level is I'm, I'm guessing is what she's trying to say there um but obviously you can see that she's obviously got all these different things in the bottom right she's got music um i don't know what this is uh it looks like a sniper scope or something she's obviously got apples there i think this is to kind of make the pokemon glow i can't remember what it's called like uluminescent orb or something and obviously a is there to take a picture Crab brawlers laze about near the water, executors lumber along among palm trees, and blossoms lurk in tropical foliage. So a lot of tropical Pokemon, the ones you'd expect to see on a beach. With a fluff fruit or a bit of music. I saw returning faces too. Pikachu's a there. A cheerful Pikachu trotting across the sand, and a dreamy Lapras in the distance. Despite just, just look how nice the game looks as well. Oh my god. It actually talks about like whether it's a male and female as well, if you take the picture. And obviously, if it's got a different form, it, like for this Vivian, exact, for example, it has the marine pattern. Um, they've obviously got this kid in the top left who's basically saying, go get him. I, I think that's just one of the characters. Having seen the same level at two different times a day, I feel I haven't even scratched the surface of what's in it. For okay. one thing, the beach had a branching path midway through that I wasn't allowed to see an entire sight of. Okay. I'm sure there were Pokemon lurking in the water or bushes that we... So basically, uh, what she's saying there is there was like a, a, a whole new part of the level that she couldn't access yet. Um, so I'm guessing when you come back to a level after doing certain things, those kind of things open up. Because obviously in the original game, when you got certain items, you could do certain things that obviously you weren't able to do the first run around on that level. Um, but yeah, she says even though she's been here on the day and the night, there's still loads of stuff to explore just in this level alone. So just imagine how much stuff there is to explore in the actual game. Didn't get around to luring out. And there are curious secrets too, like mysterious Krista Bloom flowers dotted Christa about Bloom that flowers. seem to hold some interest for wild Pokemon. So we got Zangus there, female. Much of new Pokemon Snap's gameplay revolves around trying to elicit interesting reactions from the Pokemon you can encounter, all the better to snap exciting photos. And that's exactly that what you have to do in the first one. Tossing about your arsenal of tools. Such as the aforementioned music and fluff fruit, or light up. I didn't even realize music was in the game. Like you can play music to make certain Pokemon react to it. Orbs. And there's also this scanning thing as well, which also gets their like attention. Also means searching for ways to lure Pokemon into clever situations or interactions. Yep. Such as when the presenter used the new scan feature to attract the attention of a Corsola and a Pukamuku, causing them both to cheer and wave excitedly as we passed by. <laughs> this is what i mean like you do certain things um to get different reactions out of pokemon to get better photos like that was what made the first one so unique and so wholesome and i'm really really glad they brought that across into the uh into the new one every pokemon interaction i saw and there were quite a few she just threw an apple at that sandy guy single short stretch of level just launched him stuffed with personality <laughs> and so many evoked genuine so laughter or cheers from me when i saw them react in a surprising cute or ridiculous way to whatever stimuli were thrown out oh tiller is off he's not having any of that she's like see you later frillish there on the side he's having a little munch on the apple course, 
photos taken are submitted to Professor Mirror to aid his research. Okay. Points are awarded for the Pokemon's pose, size, the direction they're facing. I love that they've kept the same music as well. The dun 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 dun. It's, oh, it's, I'm so happy this photo, game's coming out, man. The background and whether or not there are other Pokemon around. Your goal is to eventually fill out a photo dex of every Pokemon in the Lentil region. Okay. Including up to four possible actions each individual Pokemon can be found doing. These actions are graded according to how challenging it is to entice the Pokemon to do it, effectively adding an extra level of challenge and puzzle beyond just seeking out every Pokemon you can find. Following Mirror's grading, you can go back and this is the whole edit thing I'm guessing and edit them using the resnap feature before sharing them with friends. This includes zooming in and out and adjusting the photo in case you want a better angle on a cute. It's actually Pokemon kind of mad how much stuff there is actually in this filters, game. Filters, goofy stickers, and other effects. <laughs> The system so much I'm doing is there. decently robust, if still perhaps wisely limited to curb abuse of online features. I cannot wait to see what ridiculous snaps people flood social media with on launch day. Hoo hoo there. There's a real heartfelt care clearly being taken here by developer Bandai Namco to present the Pokemon in its photo <laughs> safari as real personable lovable and alive. i can't wait to see photos that people come up with it's gonna be so good will bear out in new pokemon snaps other levels and i can't wait to start flinging fluff fruit in every nook and cranny myself just to see what surprising friends pop out to say hi for more pokemon snap and right so that's basically the whole video um so as you can see there's like loads and loads of stuff to um talk about and she doesn't even go into detail about voice acting and, and stuff like that which has also been confirmed to be um coming out in the in this game so if we come over to Cerebi, there's a bunch of information about the game that wasn't actually in that kind of trailer snippet um so it says various previews have come out regarding new pokemon snap and have revealed some new details according to nintendo life there's voice acting and gyro control so voice acting is in new pokemon snap could be a step closer to finally getting voice acting in the main series games gen 9 could have voice acting i feel like this might be like a little test subject and if it does well and you know people um, are liking the voice acting in new pokemon snap might push them to do it in generation 9. there will also be different paths in the stages but the game is still on rails there is a new scan feature which gives the pokemon's name and gender which will also make pokemon notice you you can also use illumina orbs to lure pokemon out as well there are different pokemon appearing in the day or night in the stages and others act differently depending on the time of day in the game there's no further character customization after you have selected your character. There is quick capture, allowing you to take photos without necessarily zooming in. And then we have uh, updated the Lentil Photodex, uh, which is here. So if you come to this page, it basically shows every Pokemon that is confirmed to be in new Pokemon Snap as of recording this video. Um, so there's a lot of Generation 2 and 3 Pokemon, which I noticed. Uh, quite a few Gen 4, uh, a couple Gen 5 couple gen 6 couple gen 7 and then the only gen 8 pokemon so far are the starter pokemon uh, obviously we don't know the thing about pokemon snap is if you see like one pokemon like bulbasaur it doesn't mean the whole evolution line is going to be in the game hence why like ivysaur's not there um war turtle's not there I, I will be very surprised if charmeleon charmander and charizard aren't there but uh yeah because it's like it's not really anything to do with evolving um yeah the, the whole evolution line doesn't necessarily have to be in the game but this is the whole photo decks if you guys do want to go take a look at this it will be linked in the description down below um to see if your favorite pokemon is in new pokemon snap but there are quite a few star pokemon in this game uh generation one generation two generation generation three i don't think the gen four stars have been seen yet or the gen five but we have seen um generation six i think maybe um and then seven and eight um but anyway this is the last bit of information this is from pokey experto i don't know if it's already been covered or not but i'm pretty sure it hasn't so it says you can obviously choose to go day or night pokemon can stop the neo one so the neo one is the little like um kind of spaceship thing you're in not spaceship you know what i mean like a little technical device that you're in and pokemon can stop it so i'm guessing maybe like a rhyhorn or something like like ram you and it might like not exactly send you off course like they do in jurassic park but um it might like make you wobble and and stop or something which is good because when you stop obviously it gives you a time to take better photos because when you're on the move obviously you have to constantly like aim the camera towards like the the, the direction you're moving so stopping would, is, is very very useful and they say it's a tool that helps us make noise i don't know if that's like the musical thing uh there's some more pictures here which were all just seen in the trailer nothing like new here with with those uh anyway it then goes on to say 
Um, more information about new Pokemon Snap, you can go through different routes. Um, so basically, that was what um, the narrator was talking about earlier, where she had like that whole thing closed off. Um, so I'm guessing later on in the game, you can come back to certain areas and then you can go through those routes and uh, find different Pokemon and stuff. Again, there's about 200 Pokemon in this game, uh, roughly. Uh, anyway, finishing things off, it says more information. You gain experience after visiting each area and then more Pokemon appear. So that's what actually happens. So I don't know if you have an XP bar or something, but I guess when you hit a certain level of experience, you can then go to different parts of um, each each place. It says the voices of the game will be in Japanese and English and gyroscopic control system available. So there's loads and loads of stuff happening in this game. Really, really excited for it. It's going to be so, so good. But uh, like I say, all this will be linked in the description down below if you do want to go take a look at it yourself. Um, but yeah, make sure to get excited because this game looks insane. That is going to be everything for today's video though, guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try it at 550 likes. Leave a comment. Are you excited for new Pokemon Snap? And subscribe if you're brand new. We keep you up to date with everything to do with Pokemon on this channel. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Until next time, peace.